My name's Guy Kesteven and I've been a professional bike and kit reviewer for nearly 25 years and as promised in the Live Rider video, here's the tech talk around on On One's Big Dog live from the garden because obviously at the moment trail time is limited and I want to spend it riding and testing. So without further ado, uh, here is the Big Dog uh, triple butted DN6 uh, mainframe. So that's top quality steel. Uh, if you don't know what those numbers mean, uh, triple butted means that the start of the tube, the middle of the tube and the end of the tube are all different wall thicknesses, uh, which helps save some weight in the center where it's not as stressed and sort of makes up the ride characteristics of the frame. As you will see, this is a properly neon orange. Uh, it does all sorts of weird things in front of the camera. So sorry if there's a bit of flare going on, it's hard to see the detail, but coming up close, you've got this ring reinforced head tube. So, uh, you know, get the external cups in there. Uh, then you've got gussets top and bottom and somebody pointed out this out on the unboxing video. That, don't worry, they've not forgotten to weld that. That's actually the correct way of doing a gusset because uh, it spreads the side loads down the side of the welds there, but stops them uh, just basically cutting a, uh, creating a cheese cutter edge across the edge of the tube. So they've not forgotten it, that's the way it's supposed to be. Uh, as well as this neon color, it, if you really want to see the detailing, it comes in a raw finish. Uh, with a really nice sort of galvanized lacquer over the top. You might get a bit of surface rust under that in time, but uh, it does let you really see all the welding detail and construction detail up really nice and close. Uh, have a look at the boot zipper video if you want to see what that looks like in the flesh. And if I can, I'll remember to point, uh, put a link up there or something. Uh, going back to details on the frame, uh, cables are externally routed uh, apart from the dropper post which just pops in there into the seat tube for a stealth arrangement. Uh, single set of bottle cages but you do get rack mounts as well and rack mounts on the drop out there. So you know properly versatile, uh, do it all all rounder really. Uh, signature features you'll find on a lot of on one bikes, uh, this chainstay plate here uh, as you can see, it gives loads of clearance on the chainring and still gives you room for a uh, sort of smaller 2.6 but a full size 2.5 inch tyre. That's a 2.4 on there. And as you can see, plenty of mudroom around that. Uh, there's a little bit of a uh, reinforcing plate in there and then another plate in there. So again, plenty of mudroom, really practical uh, back end. Uh, stays are relatively slim on chain stays uh, and then you've got this big curved seat stay coming up it's a single diameter tube on that one it's not tapered whereas the chain stays are tapered i mean that curve is kind of a signature on one feature really and then these neat little cowl dropouts for the uh, boost rear bolt through axle uh, with a replaceable derailleur hanger you know it's not quite as fancy as a hello day frame you know that is just a plate rather than a machined and forged section but then again it's a lot cheaper than a hello day and it is still a really good quality frame I mean, coming around here you know some nice detailing there on the uh, on the little brake mount there with this little reinforcing piece underneath it uh, you can only fit a 160mm rotor on this bike which again ain't ideal It'd be nice to be able to put a 180 on there but it's you know it's not a massive issue it's still a powerful enough brake with these four pots on there uh, but the cheaper bike gets uh, levels so you might have a bit more of a struggle for uh, power there uh, you know it's threaded bottom bracket like I say there's the detailing where the dropper post hose goes in uh, the only thing I would say is the paint uh, is relatively fragile uh, first ride actually chipped a bunch of uh, pieces of paint off that chain stay with the chain thrashing around because it's a hard tail the chain will even with a clutch mech uh, the chain will whip around quite a lot so as you can see I've uh, beautiful uh, artisan uh, Aldi gaffer tape chain protect chain stay protector there uh, but you a bit more permanent and a bit more padded on there just to protect the paint uh, but you know, like I say, if you go for the uh, raw option, you can really see what a high quality steel frame this is. So that's the frame, uh, weighs 2.7 kilos. Uh, so it's heavier than an alloy equivalent. I think a Scandal weighs about two kilos um, and has very, very similar geometry. So this is the bike you're going for, for that kind of vibrant, sprung, uh, resilient, classic steel feel. Uh, so watch the live ride review if you want to see how that translates onto the trail. Uh, just going back to geometry, uh, 65 degree head angle, uh, 75 degree seat angle. So those are you know pretty contemporary angles. Uh, you know it's a decent uh, you know confident front end, and the seat is just shifted forward a little bit just to help with your climbing. Uh, 
In terms of reach, uh, more middling. This is a medium, so it's a 446 mil. Reach uh, goes up to 460 mil on the large, so not super long. But the seat tubes are pretty short, so if you did want to go long, you could go a size up. And if you want to go super slack and long, obviously there's the Hello Dave. Uh, I'll put another little uh, link up there to tech talk around videos on that. Uh, in terms of equipment, uh, pretty, you know, the frame retails at 275. Uh, this is the 1199 SRAM GX bike. There's also a 999 uh, SRAM SX bike. Uh, great news is on both those bikes you get the new RockShox 35 fork so as you might guess from the name big 35 mil stanchions that's same as Lyric that's same as Pike uh, you know it's a proper it's even the same as Box it's a proper full size control fork you get a motion control damper you get a debonair air spring and it is a really really good trail fork you know it's stiff and accurate it's plush off the top it's support it's, it gives you all the cliches you want from a fork really and uh, you know definitely a step up from Reba and Reba Con, which you'll get on a lot of bikes at this price uh, it's a 51 mil offset at the moment they may be moving to a shorter offset later but it's okay you know i prefer it with a longer up with a shorter offset but you know at least it's a reliable really well controlled sort of fully adjustable fork uh the brakes on this gx model are guide r so you've got the four pot pistons down there and 180 mil front rotor and 160 mil rear rotor uh in terms of kit, you've got on one grips. Uh, it's actually a decent grip, this. It hasn't, I think I, I whinged about the grips on the Hello Dave because it had a little uh, collar on the outside edge there. This hasn't, so it's not gonna punish your palms if you're the kind of rider who likes to hang off the edge of the bar a little bit. It's a 780 mil bar anyway, uh, this Enduro 6, so you shouldn't be hanging off it. And then you've got this little Titus El Guapo stem. Bar rise is pretty shopper bike, let's be honest, and I've left a load of spaces in, so it was a pretty high rise when I was riding it. But, you know, that's personal preference, and of course the thing with On One is you can change uh, the little contact, contact point specs uh, when you order the bike. All the bikes are built up to order in Rotherham, so if you want to change your grips, you want to change your saddles, uh, or change your bar size, then uh, you can do that when you order. Uh, race face turbine, dropper post lever, you don't get that. It's a bit of a shame, to be honest. This bike, you know, a bike with a 65 degree head angle, a decent fork and a really nice ride vibe needs a dropper post. So it would be great if Planet X could start adding that to uh, the build spec. But, you know, it currently doesn't come with a dropper. You'll just get an on one rigid post. Uh, Sally Italia X3 boost saddle. I have, I can cheerfully say I've built up quite a thorough dislike of this saddle over doing the... Uh, on one uh, bike reviews it's yeah it just doesn't work for my only little ass it feels like a brick end the way it kind of falls off an edge it might work for you and if not like i say you can always uh pick your own saddle from the build uh, options when you're putting the bike together uh one thing i did do uh when the bike came through if you watched the unboxing video it came through with v rubber flow snap e-bike tires which went absolute ton are super sticky so the traction is awesome but they really killed the ride quality on so i at the time uh, i was putting this bike together they do, were doing an offer on it's it's the old type old tread pattern on uh, conti's mountain king 29er but it's a you know folding bead 2.4 inch tire in top quality black chili compound so it's just a you know the trail doesn't really care what what tread pattern you, what year tread pattern you're running as far as i can tell and it's a really really good floated fluid uh 20 29 tire so it's just you know no brainer to pick the this and put it on the bike for you know a not super low cost because it's basically a last year's tire that's kind of where planet x make a lot of their killer deals they're just buying up older stuff that people don't want anymore but still works absolutely fine uh, the only thing i would say these older contis are a right swine to set up tubeless so be patient if you're setting them up tubeless uh, again this is a pre-production bike so it's come with wtb rims uh, production bikes will come with a shimano wheel set but you know and that also means they'll come with a uh, shimano 1051 cassette on there It'll be an slx cassette but that's actually you know that's a significant upgrade actually from this uh, super cheap uh, 1150 uh, sram cassette that you get at the moment uh, this is the gx bike uh, so you're getting a gx rear mech as you would expect with all the uh, you know 
usual features, oversized jockey wheels, uh, X-Sync chain, uh, te X-Sync jockey teeth, you've got your little cage lock device there. Uh, you've got these nice broad uh, GX cranks up front. Just a really, really good solid alloy crank. And again, you've got X-Sync two chainring teeth on there to keep the chain nice and stable. Certainly a pretty sorted all round trail spe spec that mostly brings out the best in the bike. Finley seems to approve of it anyway, so uh, that's gotta be a good sign. I am clearly waffling on here and the dustbin men are coming in the background, so that's gonna kind of make the audio even more rubbish. <laughs> See what I did there. So thanks very much for putting up with me waffling on in the back garden. Sorry, it isn't a beautiful trail vista behind me, but then if you're after beauty, you wouldn't be watching me talking about bikes, would you? But hopefully I've gone through the detailing on the bike for you. Uh, any questions, just uh, get busy in the comments below. Uh, make sure you subscribe, please. Uh, just gone over 14,000 subscribers, so that's nice, but you know, 15 is an even better number. Uh, click for notifications so you know when my next videos are coming up. Uh, before anyone asks, I will be doing the Scandal probably next and then the Whip It. Already done the Hello Dave so and the Boot Zipper. So we're working through the whole On One uh, uh, range. And thanks very much to On One for supporting these videos. Uh, thanks very much to my Patreon supporters as well who uh, give a small monthly contribution uh, towards the channel. Uh, which keeps me in tea and biscuits and it means they get early extended and behind the scenes edits that you won't normally find on YouTube and those are these fine folk who are scrolling up here but thanks for your patience I've been Guy Kestevern on Guy Kest TV with Finley the small dog talking about on ones big dog steel framed trail 29er oh and make sure you watch the live ride review uh shot locally safely and considerately uh but still a lot of fun so thanks guys